Shalom. And welcome to the hour of feeding on Jesus. Our Bible verse for meditation today is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 54, verse 14. Isaiah chapter 54, verse 14. And the word reads, In righteousness you will be established. Tyranny will be far from you. You will have nothing to fear. Terror will be far removed. It will not come near you. Amen. The thing for refreshing today is no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Amen. Amen. Brethren, in dark times, let's focus on God's abundant supply and provision for us. See how deeply loved, forgiving, and made righteous you are. Look at what God is doing for us, his children. When you focus on Jesus, you will find rest. Draw near to Jesus and see him move in your life. In dark times like this, let's focus on God's abundant supply and provision for us. As the church of Christ, let's stay united. To, united. Let's pray together and shine in the midst of darkness. The Bible says that when two or three are gathered together in Jesus' name, there he is in the midst, in their midst. See Matthew chapter 18 verse 20. So therefore, brethren, when we watch church services online in our homes, when there are two, when there is two of us gathered in Jesus' name, let's hope that he is in our midst. Even if you are alone, the Lord never leaves you nor forsakes you. So you are never by yourself because he is always with you. Emmanuel, the world has been plunged into darkness and fear. But the most important thing right now is that as believers, we do not walk in the same spirit of fear, doubt, and lack as the world. See Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. How deeply loved we are and how deeply we forgiven and made righteous in Christ. We not only have God's abundant provision, but we also have his complete forgiveness. The Bible says, in him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins according to the riches of his grace. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. Now brethren, that our sins are effectually and eternally put away. As a child of God, this shouldn't compel us to live a lifestyle to, of sin rebellion and disobedience instead it makes us what to f it makes us live righteously before god because when we remind ourselves that we are his righteousness we are intuitively guided and saved from pressing for trespassing the mark beloved isaiah chapter 54 verse 14 which says that in righteousness you shall be established you shall be far from oppression, for you shall not fear, and from terror, for it shall not come near you. In righteousness you shall be established. You is referring to us, the parents, as we guide our children through these dark hours. Isaiah chapter 54 is also a prophecy of the result of Jesus' perfect work at the cross for us today. Isaiah 54 applies to us today and in, the, and, and in this end times, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. The promise here is not that the weapons will not be formed, but that even if they are formed, they will never or not prosper. The, current, the COVID-19 virus has been, formed, has been formed, but will not prosper against us. It will never prosper against you the child of God. The reason no weapon will be the reason no weapon will prosper against you is that your righteousness is from the Lord. Therefore no weapon can prosper against the people who are walking in the gift of righteousness. Brethren, remain focused, believe that you are the righteousness of God in Christ as a, a believer in, in him. As, as a new creation, you are the righteousness of God in Christ, and you are the trophy of his grace, you are the beacon of his grace. Remain 
Christ focused as you walk through these dangerous times. Believe that he is always with you. His name is also Emmanuel. He's always with us. Amen. Stay blessed. Share this video and bless the soul. All April bonds, we are here to celebrate your birthdays with you. Get us informed and let's celebrate your birthdays in grand style. Also get in touch as you click on the email address displayed for any detailed conversation you'd like to have. Shalom, bless you. And rem remember our Sunday service at 11 a.m. every Sunday, Sunday service and communion Sunday. Get a biscuit cracker and fruit juice as you partake in the Lord's Supper. Remember, I constantly remind you that when the blood of animal was applied to the doorpost of the Israelites, no matter what happened in the in their rooms, so far as the destroyer saw the blood of the animal on their doorpost, he passed over them. So let's constantly plead the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ upon ourselves and upon our household. And this, uh, this dangerous, deadly virus will pass over us. Bl blessings. Bye-bye. Oh.